Hi friends, how are you doing? So I just wanted to bring this update on the Vanessa Guillen. Um, I haven't done an update yet because we haven't really had any updates yet. Um, but Miss Guillen's mom w um, did an interview, a very jaw dropping, bomb dropping interview with Raul Brindis. He is the host of Raul Brindis. El show Raul Brindis is the show. That's what it's called. And um, she did the interview yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. That's when I just saw it today. And I was like, wow, this needs more views and people need to start talking about it. I have a special guest on the phone to help me translate because it is in Espanol. And I wanted to um, and maybe that's why it's not going viral is because it's in Spanish. Um, so I wanted to translate the best that I can for you guys. Okay. So let's get started with this video. Uh, mom, are you there? This is my mom. Um, she is the translator and it's her fault. I don't know how to speak Spanish a fully <laughs> because she didn't teach me. <laughs> So go at her at the co in the comments. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's get started. Okay, let me go ahead and play it, and I'm gonna link it down below if you want to watch it fully. Watch the video. Can you hear, Ma? It's been uh, since April 22nd since she's been missing, been 40 days. Her sister um, has been spreading, you know, what, what she knows, but she hasn't been found. He's just saying hello. Uh, how are, días, pues how are you doing? Uh, pues, this is her, a twin. They are twins. It's been 40 days since she's been missing. And she's very sad. And he can't believe that we are in the U.S. And she is missing and she she's lost here from the base and he just can't believe it like if it was if he you know you said it was from somewhere else like mexico it would be okay she's missing you know it would be a little bit more expect not expected but it wouldn't be so shocking that she's missing from the air force base he just can't understand it. Where can your daughter be? What have they told you about her being missing? They haven't really told her anything, really, like, not really. And she's going to give some examples right now. And right now, they are looking outside the base, right? Oh, her own. In See, I didn't catch that. <laughs> she has her own investigator. The mom, uh, Vanessa Guillen, has her own investigator. And she is what, Ma? I'm looking for her. She has her own investigator from outside. 
inside, they're telling her a lie. Okay, yeah, since so they're telling her nothing but lies, because they haven't really told her anything. Um, and as you can see, we haven't had any news conferences, any updates at all. Like, the news people there haven't really reported anything on it. Um, so she has her own investigator um, from the outside, and she um, she she hired her to to look for to look for her, or clues or whatever. What else did she say, Mom? Oh, she wants to know where is she, but they, they're just telling her can, they can find her. And that, she yeah, they're just basically just telling her we don't know where she's at. She she did they say she's she left she disappeared from on from the base. They are saying that right. On the parking lot. From the parking lot from Hell on Wheels, I believe is what the place is called. Okay. Three lies they've told her so far. Porque mi hija nunca fue desaparecida del parqueadero. No, ella no desapareció del parqueadero. That she didn't, she doesn't believe her daughter was missing from the parking lot? Okay, that's what they're saying, that she's missing from the parking lot, and she does not believe that. Ella desapareció del edificio de armas. She left from what, mom? The... The armor? Yes. Okay, so the mom saying is she's not missing from the parking lot, that she is actually missing from the, I guess, I don't know if it's a department or a building of armors, like where the armor is at, uh, where they have the weapons. Yes. Right? Okay. They sent her, they sent her to go do an air, to go pick something up or an errand, something like that, and that's where, what? Inside the building where the guns are is actually where she is missing from. These are the bombs that she's dropping here. Why isn't this going viral? Everybody is led to believe that she is missing from the parking lot of Hell on Wheels. This is not true. Her mom is saying that she is missing from somewhere else. Why would they be lying about that? From inside, inside, inside that building. They found all of her stuff, her car keys, her keys to the room, her her wallet, I believe, like where she said her cards or whatever, um, was all found. Um, Mom. They were inside the room. The the armor room, or where they planted them. <laughs> Where they planted them. Yeah, on the parking lot. In the parking lot. So they did find her things there, but obviously they were planted because she's missing from somewhere else. Señora Gloria, sería posible que la alguien la haya llevado, la haya transportado del estacionamiento. Que maybe somebody else took her, gave her a ride or something. That yeah. So maybe somebody, obviously. Somebody okay. knows where she was at. Maybe she's missing from where they originally sent her to run the errand. And then they just move her belongings there is what I'm thinking. And was what he's thinking. Okay. <laughs> Let me explain. En la oficina donde estaba ella, está a 10 pasos el edificio de armas, a 10 pasos, 10 pasos. Y se ve por este informe, no es por este número de Oh, wait, hang on. I thought I paused, right? <laughs> uh, she, was, she was 10 feet where she needed to go to get those guns. Wow, they traced her that? Like 10 feet away like she was on the way over there oh wow so she was 10 feet away from that the armor room or whatever it's called wow that is damning 10 feet away where they they sent her to do um to do something to run an errand whoever is above her sent her to go do a specific task in the armor room and she was 10 feet away, is what she's saying. Okay, 
Okay, where she was gonna, where she was going, um, she has to specifically do these steps. Step number one was, um, was go it the, the go get the keys and go to the room and go to the room. <laughs> yeah, and then put in a specific number, like a pin. Yeah. Enter yeah. the pin, and then you're able to open the door. Is what There's the mom the is saying with with the keys. And, and only three or four people have that are have access to that yeah. only three or four people in this area have access to that the top people and the people that are working there besides the people above just like three people lower ranking people have access to that plus of course the the head people in charge Okay, so she once she went in, um, they, the appar there are apparently no cameras in this building where her and that's where her keys were at, mom. Yes. That's where her belongings were in that specific room, and there apparently are no cameras. <laughs> And she doesn't believe that. And she's missing from right there. Three months earlier, she told her something. She was sad, she noticeably upset. She could not sleep. And she asked her, what is wrong with you? She saw there was something wrong with her. And she, she knows her. She what, ma? She was being sexually abused is what she ends up coming out. She said, Mom, I want to talk to you. I want to tell you something. This is where the another bomb is dropped. She, Her mom notices that she is visibly upset there's something she comes back different completely different person attitude wise and she looks so sad and depressed and she's asking her what is wrong like i know there's something wrong with you i know you are my daughter i know there's something wrong with you a sergeant how does she exactly word that i don't want to mess it up well, how did she say it? Um, I, I, I can't pronounce it the way she said it. But she says that this sergeant... Is harassing her? Yes. I, sexually harassing her? Yes. Okay, is sexually harassing her, a sergeant? And yes. I believe she report, ends up saying that she reported it, but they don't she believe her. That, no, no, no. She said that... Everybody has uh, reported him, but nobody, they don't do nothing. Oh, everybody else has reported him. You guys, okay, why aren't we speaking up, you guys? Uh, this person has been reported before. And you people that are watching this, that were harassed by him, and have not come forward to say anything, what is wrong with you people? And it's obviously known. It is obviously known by people on the base they know about it. It's a problem, and they freaking know about it. And nobody is speaking up for Miss uh, Miss Guion. That is ridiculous. Okay, sorry, mom. <laughs> he's he's following her. Okay, she's very athletic, and she goes for runs. He knows where she goes, so he is he is following her to harass her to to do sexual things to her. He's pursuing her and she does not want to be pursued. See, they have reported, they have reported him before to the higher ups and they do not do anything about it. And they're not going to believe her. She didn't think they were going to believe her either. 
And mom is asking for the name and she says she will go over there and she will report it her damn self. Okay, so she then tells her mom, no, I'm, you know, don't, you can't, you can't go over there and tell them. You cannot report it because then something will happen to you, to the mom. So she said, no, mom, no, I don't, you can't do that. There's a lot of corrupt go stuff going on there. She's saying, no, mom, no. There's a lot of things going on there. There's a lot of corrupt stuff going down there. No, I will hand. She's going to end up saying right now. I will handle it. I will take care of it. I'll do it by myself. And her mom says, no, no, mija, no, let me help you. Let me, let me do it with you. She signed up to defend her country. And she's like, no, mom, I will do it. I signed up to, I can't say, I can't say it, mom, <laughs> to defend my country. I will do it. It's what she's telling her mom not to worry about it. She will take care of it by herself. And three weeks later, look what happens. She's missing. She was going to take care of it by herself. And if you remember in my last video, guys, in my last video, what did I say? She had a, her last Twitter note a week before she was missing. She put on Twitter. Um, hang on. She put on Twitter. Let me quote her. This was seven days before she was missing. Possibly the day she reported it to the higher ups. I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. But um, and this is all alleged. Of course, we don't have any proof. But she said, and I quote, some BS on April 15th, 2020 at 8.55 a.m. Is that possibly when she went to go tell somebody? We don't know. And she's like, why didn't she tell me? Why didn't she get, why didn't my daughter tell me the name? Like, she's just like you know she her daughter didn't give up the name so she doesn't have the name to give basically who moved her things somebody moved her items who moved them and it's a lie what they're saying Corrosion. And where are all the moms of the way of the other children that have, are missing from the base? Where where are they at? So many people are missing from that specific base. Where are they? Is what she's asking. <laughs> this girl is my life. She's saying my daughter is my life. And help me. She needs help to get to find her. And he's asking, is there a lawyer, somebody that could help you move forward? And they're looking for lawyers right now. But they need a specific type of lawyer because who's gonna go, who's gonna want to go against the U.S. government? Who? Somebody who knows it. They need somebody with knowledge. They can't just get somebody off the damn road. They need a specific, specific representation. A retired somebody retired to be the knows the, knows the ropes and who knows what's going on. Military. Which is hard to find people who will go against. Once you're military, you're military forever, you know? 
They're not doing anything. Anything to find her. Who has her? What did they do to her? Wait, what? They found a long time ago there was a soldier that was missing? Yeah, and they closed it. They closed it until they found that man, and they found him. They found him. Can't do that to was her daughter. Yeah. Okay. So a long time ago, there was a missing soldier. Uh, she didn't mention any names, um, and they ended up finding him, and they were able to close that case. They were able to open it shut. Case. It was solved. Why can't they do that for her daughter? Like, what is the difference? You know, she is also a soldier. She's also. You know, it's just ridiculous. It's probably because she's Mexican and she's a woman. Why are they doing that to her? Why are they doing it to her? Like, why? Why won't they help her? Why did they do that to the daughter? Who was in contact with the daughter? Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> what did he say? No, she was contact with her. Oh, she talked regular with her? Yeah, she talks to her all the time. And every, I believe, in a little bit, she says um, every weekend she would go home, right, to Houston? Yeah, every, because it's very close, Houston. Every, every Friday she would go. She would shower, eat, whatever. She would visit every weekend. And she would go visit her, her fiancé. She had a fiancé that was there in Houston, she would visit him, like, you know, she, she had a whole life. Beyonce. Yeah, they were going to get married. A sergeant. There was a sergeant that was messing, trying to mess with her. That is in charge of them. There are cinco. There are cinco. <laughs> I'm also saying it in Spanish. There are five sergeants that are above her that order that order that order her specifically around or her people or i'm not in the military i don't know i'm sure there's certain ways to say that but i don't know people who the people that boss her around that are sergeants <laughs> that are above her there were five it's one of those five one of those fives that were in charge of her and why can't they investigate them i think she mentions why don't they take away their phones like they're not doing anything at all and mom remember i told you i i saw i i saw a card reader awakened star seed she did a card reading and she said it was a sergeant above her who is married who is this christian man who is probably white most likely white and his wife found out or something like it she it ties into every single thing the mom is saying right now he is a married man i'm adding that in <laughs> the mom didn't say that but he i'm just saying possibly he's a married man um christian white man keep an eye out <laughs> okay why aren't they investigating them they haven't done anything to them question them nothing and she's praying to god to help her to send help to to find her daughter she's done two marches there she's done two two protests there and nobody joined nobody helped her nobody like it was very few people nobody came to her nobody joined the family and friends nobody marched for her 
Nobody. Peor que, que, que acaban de asesinar, lo siento mucho, lo siento mucho por, por su esposa, por su familia. ¿Por qué si se unen? ¿Por qué ellos son tan unidos? Somos la misma, la misma, la misma raza. Todos, We're the same. Todos. We're all, we are all citizens. Like, we are all here. We are all here. We are all equal. Why didn't anybody come to help her? Like, nobody joined, you know? And... She and I think I saw it on the news. There were very few people. I want to say like 20 people, and it was just like family and friends that were there protesting outside of uh, Fort Hood. Um, you know, wanting to, wanting to 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 find her. Nobody joined. We're all the same. And she's asking the public to help. A nadie le hemos dañado. Pacíficas que me ayuden a abogar. ¿Dónde está mi hija? ¿Qué le hicieron a mi hija? ¿Dónde está 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 mi hija? Ahora, después de esto, ya un joven se va a querer escribir por miedo, por todo lo que se está sabiendo, por miedo. Que diga el presidente. And they're afraid. Afraid of what happens, I guess, people that are on base, of what's going to happen if they come forward. Que diga el gobernador, que digan los, los senadores. ¿Quién se va a escribir? ¿Quién va a defender la patria ahora? ¿Quién? ¿Por qué ya nadie va a querer? La, a mí la gente que me pregunta dice, tengo lo peor, lo peor es que... Yeah, that's true. There's probably a lot of people who know the ones who have been harassed by this man who have not come forward because they don't know what's going to happen to them. Porque mira lo que está pasando y todo lo que me han dicho a mí, a mí me habló un sargento anónimamente. Y no puse el nombre porque dijo, si dice, me matan. And somebody, did somebody tell her? Somebody came forward to her, and, but they said that, that they don't want their name out because then they'll get killed. Yes, uh -huh. Oh, yeah. She has somebody helping her, but she cannot. She can't say. She has somebody. She has somebody in her back pocket, somebody in the background that is afraid to come forward because they're afraid for their lives. It's a retired colonel or somebody. Somebody high up who is aware, has heard, who knows, because something sinister is going on in Fort Hood. And this is the last one. I feel it. I feel it. This is going to be the last one. I feel it. A su hija la secuestraron adentro y es una corrupción horrible, horrible es una corrupción horrible ahí adentro. Dice hay túneles, hay túneles. Hay what? What does hay túneles mean? Oh, they have a. Um, I, I, I heard that word earlier. I was like, what is that? Tunnels. There's tunnels in there. Oh my God! No, you know the card reader said she was going to be in water. So she's probably in a tunnel. I'm sure those tunnels are like, like the sewer, like with water. Yeah, she says, she says, why do they have tunnels down there? What for? Why, exactly, why do they have tunnels down there? Why cannot, why can we not have some cadaver dogs go down there, trace the scent, the cadaver dogs will find her in an instant, and they know it. Why can't they, why can't it be searched? You know, if they have nothing to hide, why do not let it be searched? They have tunnels. talking about how everybody's coming forward right mom yeah. together for mr george floyd's family yeah. sorry oh, hang on mom wait i <laughs> i worked earlier so that's why <laughs> that's why i look like this so uh, just excuse me i just wanted to get this video out because the message is very important okay so everybody got together um, for Mr. George uh, Floyd for the injustice that happened to him. His life was taken away when it shouldn't have been taken away. He was not doing anything illegal, but he was being racially profiled. I have a video on that as well. Um, 
basically he's saying you know why can't we get together like that for her so that we know what happens because it's only fair you know unity we all unite we are all one your heart your mother's heart like what do you say as a mother what do you think happened she's saying out of all of her kids why doesn't this thing want to pause out of all these kids all of her kids sorry out of all of her kids she looks physically exactly like her she takes after her and she looks like her uh, she's strong like her she's very much like her like her mom she's very athletic her <laughs> i can't say this <clears throat> She has such a strong connection to her daughter that her daughter is visiting her in her dreams and she is saying, she feels it, and her, her daughter is saying, Mom, I am here. I am on the base. Don't leave me. Help me, mom. I'm here. I'm here. And she keeps having dreams about her daughter there. And she knows her daughter is in there. And her heart. She said it had to have been, she knows that um, it had to have been, you know, obviously a sergeant or even somebody above a sergeant that did something to her. And they'll be discriminating against her because her daughter is such, has a good heart. Her daughter is a good person and didn't deserve this. She doesn't deserve this injustice either. <laughs> when she left South Carolina, uh, I'm guessing boot camp, she was very happy, so happy. And I believe she even says that she goes to Virginia and she came back so happy, pumped to, you know, to, to be in the military, to serve her country. And then she went to Fort Hood and her attitude completely changed. She is a different person. She changed. And she saw the change in her. Where is she? She she joined to serve her country and this is what she gets basically. Yeah, there are a lot of other uh, soldiers that have been have gone missing from this specific base and where where are they? Where is everybody at? They need to investigate on what is going on. This needs to stop. Yeah, and how is that, how were they not 
how are there not cameras? Like, come on. Come on. If not for their, you know, their soldiers' safety, what about for the higher up safety, you know, since they're protecting them so much? Terrorista. Entonces, ¿qué pasó? Entonces, ¿qué va a hacer siendo un terrorista? Lo que siempre me pregunto yo, le pregunto al público, ¿qué van a hacer? No, Dios mío, por eso ocultan muchas cosas. Yo lo que quiero, lo único que quiero es que me regresen a mi hija. All she wants is her daughter back, and she just wants her daughter to be found. That's it. La quiero a mi hija. Is that too much to ask? No, it isn't. De brazos y la quiero viva. Así como entró ella, así que la quiero para. So the way she... Que se... <sighs> The way she joined, the way she joined the military, that's how she wants her back. In one fucking yeah. piece. Fucking assholes. She doesn't sleep. Just praying that they find her. She's asking, she needs help, asking for the president. I will link down below in the description, along with this interview, the petition to sign. I think they need 100,000 signatures. Um, they are reaching out to the president, asking for help. Um, to uh, to find to find her, so um, I si already signed it. Um, I'll, I'll link that down below, and you do have to confirm your email. So make sure once you sign the pet petition, you, there's it's a two step type of thing. They'll send you a link to your email, and that's just confirming your email. That's all it is, and then it signs it. So if you do the first part and don't complete the second part, it does not count. So make sure you are doing both parts. They need to see what is going on so that your children, if you're watching, your children join later on that they're not missing. Like this needs to be the last one. We need to see what is going on. We need to make change like we need to figure out what is going on here and we need to keep talking about this situation nobody is talking about it nobody is using their platform i know there's a lot going on in the world and i have supported everything that is going on out there now this is the next thing we need to support <laughs> Who's that? Sylvia Garcia? Yeah. She contacted Sylvia Garcia and she's not responding to her? She said she was going to help her. I think that's the, I think she's like the mayor or something over there in Fort Hood. Yeah, and she is not, she said, she, oh, yes, girlfriend, I'm going to help you. I got your back. And then she's calling her, and she's not even answering her fucking phone calls. What am I? What? Okay, so she did find somebody that is helping, that will help her. 
um because she's, she's retired she's retired right um and yes. she knows about the hidden places there uh yes. kind of about what goes on there but she needs uh even higher up to accompany her to do it and she could test her on the metal pole, on the top pole. and she could tell her where everything they she knows where everything's at okay Y si yo la ayudo, porque ya, ya me contrataron a mí, ya me contrataron a estas muchachas acostadas sexualmente que, que se mejor renunciaron. Renunciaron ahí a esa base. Dice, hay mucha maldad, mucha cosa sexual. Entonces, a lot of bad stuff going on there that has been going on that somebody's, people who don't speak up, you, if you don't speak up about it, you are letting it happen. You do not give a shit about about people about what's going on with them i guess you're thinking if it's not you it's them it's better them than you huh but you need to speak up and this needs to stop this needs she needs to find her daughter is the bottom fucking line she needs to find her daughter and it's been it's been 40 days imagine not knowing where your child is at for 40 days how would you like that and nobody wanted to help you how would you feel about that she is born here she is from here the dog, she is born here she was raised here she is a u.s citizen she joined the military you know that's what you do when you when i was little i live in military town city usa <laughs> and i wanted to join the military i did because that's what you do around here i did i wanted to join my daughter wanted to join it's what we what, what we want when we're younger. I ended up not joining, by the way. <laughs> yeah, my mom does. My mom doesn't let me do anything. <laughs> oh, it kind of cuts out on this part. She just basically wants help, you know. She's a well-loved person, good person, good heart. She helped. She's just remembering how great, how giving her daughter was. Reaching out to Greg Abbott, the govern, government. We all basically need to join. There's nobody there to help. How are, we're supposed to come together as a community. And there are mostly Latinos down here. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Where is she? Thank you. She's thanking him. I don't think they say, they don't say anything after that, right? No, he's he's gonna say his outro. Okay. Oh, okay, good. So I'll keep y'all posted on that. Y'all gotta follow me on social media because it is lit on my Instagram and my <laughs> and my Twitter. Not really, but I say it's lit. Anyways, um, so basically we all need to come together as a community. Um and this is just wrong. She was 20 years old. Um, she she had revealed to her mom that there were some things going on. Um, so somebody was sexually harassing her, somebody above her. And, you know, it was a known issue with this certain person. Um, nobody 
ever you know it falls on deaf ears whoever is being harassed by this person and nothing happens and that is wrong that is wrong this person is a monster they need to be they need to, they need to be convicted for their crimes and they need to be away they cannot this fort hood once i started investigating you google fort hood all you see is bad even the people in the military they once they hear they're going to go to fort hood they're like oh god i'm going to fort hood you know like it just has this bad stigma you know and that needs to stop because that's not what that is not what our nation stands for that is not what the u.s stands for we need to find her and we need to get to the bottom of all these missing people because this is just ridiculous that it's gone down around this long and nothing has happened and nobody's even talking about it we need to talk 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 about it and i'm sorry this is a very long video but i was trying to translate the best i can um the, the um the video is down below it is a you it is a on youtube so if you want to translate it to english it'll give you the english subtitles um you just have to click the option up on the top right but anyways i will also link down below the petition and i want to thank my special guests um <laughs> for translating <laughs> and giving me your time um but i will see y'all in the next video and please let's keep talking about this um until she is found okay thank you y'all have a great day